Hey guys, I'm back at it again with another hair tutorial. Um, this will be my perm rod set tutorial and I'm going to start on this super dry wash and go. It's like super old. Oh, by the way, my name is Juliana and this is my channel GGB. <laughs> so the only product that I'm going to be using is my Caravita Creme Brulee. This is a super moisturizing but light product. Whenever you do a perm rod set or anything that needs to dry, you want to use a really lightweight product. And this one also offers moisture unlike mousse. Mousse leaves my hair like feeling super dry and crunchy. And I don't know about you guys, but it also makes my hair really hard to detangle. So I end up with like breakage whenever I try to use mousse and do a perm rod set. So this was honestly the perfect product for the job. These are the perm rods that I'm going to be using. These are like super huge perm rods. You can get them from any beauty supply store, but you want to make sure that you get them from somewhere where it's a decent price. So just shop around because some of them, they really inflate the prices of these perm rods. So to start, I'm going to be combing out my hair. I spray my hair with lots of water and then apply the Caraveda Creme Brulee. And this product is great because not only is it paraben free and silicone free, but I can actually pronounce every single ingredient in it so you know it's some good ingredients. Then I take that fine tooth comb and smooth it through trying to get it as straight and tight as possible so that I can wrap my hair around the perm rod. After combing one last time and keeping the hair tight, I wrap my hair around the perm rod and just roll it up towards my scalp. If you don't automatically know how to use perm rods, then you're in the same boat that I was because it took me like a year and over five different failed occasions to learn how to finally perm rod. It It is pretty hard so just practice um, you'll have to learn how to like get it to clip properly and to learn how to get it tight on your head but it just really takes some practice this is something that I can show you through video but really hands-on doing it yourself is where you will truly understand how it works so I just move on to the next section and spray my hair with water again and this time to detangle my hair, I'm going to be using my Tangle Teaser because I feel like the Tangle Teaser is really great at detangling small sections of hair. I don't really like it for my whole hair, but small sections, it's great. Now I'm just using my Creme Brulee again and adding it to that section. And guys, this Creme Brulee, the Caravita Creme Brulee, gave me the softest curls that I have ever felt. Like, my hair was so shiny and soft once... I was done the perm rod it was ridiculous so again I'm going to be wrapping my hair around the perm rod and then twisting well rolling it up and you want to start on one side because you don't want to overlap your hair around the perm rod too much because then it will be more difficult to dry so you just want to go from one side to the next when you clip the roller into place you want to make sure that your putting the string or rubber band whatever over the hair that is going over top of the roller because you can do it underneath and it will be super duper loose I am going to be doing this front section and if all your hair doesn't fit because it's different lengths then you can do the longest piece first and then start to add in the shorter pieces so I realized the little button thing wasn't on there this happens to me all the time you can just clip it back on there and start rolling again sometimes they pop off when I have tried to clip it on and it's too tight but um yeah don't feel bad if that happens it happens to me all the time so now i'm just tightening things up and clipping it on the side that has just been rolled so this is my last 
piece and I'm super happy. This actually probably only took like 40 minutes to install now that I mastered it. Before it took like three hours my first time. So now I'm just taking them out and my hair is completely dry. I think it took like two and a half hours to dry. And I'm just taking out the rollers and making sure that I'm gentle with it because I don't want to mess up those curls and have like frizzy curls. And see, these are the super bouncy curls that I have. And it's so soft, guys. My hair is so soft using the creme brulee. This is the most successful product that I've used on my perm rod set. It really left my hair so soft. Normally my hair feels like dry and crunchy. But this left my hair feeling really soft. Now this is key to a beautiful perm rod set. Separating your curls. When you separate it, you want to twirl it in the direction that the curl was already in. Um, or else it'll kind of look weird if you don't twirl it afterwards. And you want to separate it a lot. <music> This is my final result. I have a little bang action going on as you guys can see. And this is how I like to wear my hair when I do a perm rod set. I like to wear it up in this high ponytail. I wear it like this almost every day that I wear my perm rod set or sometimes I do like a half up half down ponytail. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!